Hello viewers, you are welcome to Inky Culture channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a 360 degree flare skirt or rather called circle skirt. So, we are going to start right away. You start by folding your paper into four. And the measurement needed is the waist circumference and the length of the flare. So the waist circumference I'll be using here is 34 inches. And the length of the flare from this paper i'll first of all cut the paper before i use the paper to cut the main mat main material so i'm going to just use the length of eight inches here so i'll go and use this paper to cut the flare but right away the next thing to do here is to fold into four because we have folded the paper into two so when you are cutting a 360 degree flare which is called full flare you have to fold your fabric into four so having done that having folded your fabric into four that is your paper into four you are going to take your measurement from the folded edge so you take your measurement from the folded edge so we have many or three other edges but this is the only folded edge that does not have any slitting so take your measurement from this edge so that you'll be able to have a perfect round um, circle by the time you cut it out so the next thing to do is that i'm not going to use the calculation method i'm going to use the try and error method because some people can complain about the mathematics so you are going to place your tape measure like so place it in form of a cone to form your with circumference so you place it in form of a cone that means what you are doing here is that you are inputting your radius you are inputting your radius and what i will have here is eight and a half because i'm dividing my measurement by four you know we have folded our weight our, our our paper into four so you are dividing your measurement your waist circumference also by four so and that is what i will do just make sure you form a perfect cone. Can you see the shape of a cone? Just form a perfect cone shape here. And that will be you are, that that will be that will mean you are placing your radius. So mark the point at which you form that cone. So I told you this is a try and error method, but at the end of the day, you still get the same result. So measure from this end to the end I'm touching. Then whatever you have there, I have almost then five and a half so i'm taking five so i'm taking five i'll measure the five or you can still take the five and a half but it will be it will be more than your waist circumference that's why i will only come up by half inch from that measurement that I saw. so i'll take five five all through five or two just measure the five or two all i want to do here is to make sure my the, the circumference is 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 uniform so by the time you mark the same measurement round five or two then you join it together so then this is the circumference of your waist then you measure it measure whatever you have there if it is not up to your waist circumference you are going to increase the cone make the cone bigger and if it is if it is less than your your measurement increase it if it is more than reduce it that is what i mean so the length of the the as it is now i'm going to add the zipper allowance of two inches and that is what i'm writing down i'm adding two inches to my measurement the zipper allowance of two inches so right now i have 34 the waist circumference is there now but because i want to add two inches it will be 36 so dividing 36 by 4 will give me 9 so I want to measure nine out and this is up now up to nine. So I will increase my cone shape I will just increase it by half inch all through So this is a free hand method, but at the end of the day, we, we are still going to achieve the same result. So By the time I I, I did this I have increased the, the the circumference measurement So by the time I measure it back, it is nine inches if it is more than you reduce if it is a um, lesser you increase and that is what we have done so we have our, 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 our waist circumference with the zipper included so the next thing to do is to measure the length of the flare the length here that i will be using for this pattern pattern is eight and a half 
so before i go and use it to cut the original flare skirt i first of all cut this out not to waste my paper so and this can be used for peplum this can be used for peplum but i will i can still use it to cut my circle skirt because my waist is intact so i'll go right away mark it out like so connect everything together So the next thing to do is to go ahead and cut this flare. We are through with the cutting. I'm going to cut this out and I will use this to go and cut my Ankara fabric. And this is the result. After cutting the the paper, the pattern paper, you are going to take one edge and slit it out for the zipper allowance. Just take uh, one of the edges when you fold your paper into two, then slit it out for the zipper allowance, so you can use it for your peplum, your skirt, and anything you want to use it for. It is only if you want to use this for your sleeve that's when you are not going to slit it. But if you are using it for skirt, you put your zipper, and it depends on whatever you want to use it for anyway. Because you can still slit it if you are using it for sleeve also. I'm cutting out my, I'm, I'm notching my zipper allowance. So this is the Ankara fabric. It is folded into four, and you are going to place your pattern paper on the folded edge. So place your pattern paper like so, then. The length of the skirt now is 23 inches and um, the hemming allowance is 1 inch and also the joining allowance to the band is um, also 1 half inch. So I'm going to input a band of 1 and a half inch. Can you see that I don't need any allowance to add to the skirt because um, the band has been has replaced the hemming allowance and the joining allowance. So I'm going to cut 23 inches, exact 23 inches of length, length of skirt out. So whatever length you are cutting out, it will be the exact, I'm not going to add anything to it. And so I'll go right away and then take the measurement from this end, from this, from the waist down to the M line. So I will input the measurement and the measurement will be the length of the skirt which is 23 inches so i'm going to chalk it all round like that to make a circumference so i'm going to chalk it all round like that chalk it on the waistline chalk it on the line, and continue like so So I'm going to continue that and chalk it out just like I'm doing. Then the next thing to do is to go ahead and then since the measurement is there already, go ahead and cut your flare out. So having done that, notch on the edges, notch it out, then slit the zipper allowance the way you did for the pattern paper. Just open it up and slit one edge, one of the edges for the zipper allowance. So I'm going to measure one inch zipper allowance out and notch it out so that I will know the, the, the zipper allowance. One inch, I'm going to notch it out first before I slit the edge so and i'll go ahead and slit the edge right away so after slitting the edge this is what we have you are going to slit the edge right away and then you are going to have a full flare so this flare you can see there is joining because the length of ankara cannot carry the 
the length of the skirt that's why i joined the skirt so as to have a full flare so the next thing to do now is to cut our waist our band waist our waist band sorry so the waist circumference plus two inches allowance the two inches will take the overlap one inch overlap and also half inch sewing allowance half inch sewing allowance so the width of the band is four inches so so that when i folded it i will have two inches and half inch will go for my sewing allowance so i'm going to take the the, the measurement of the band like so I'm going to measure out the band like so i'm putting the width and the length so the length will be 36 inches by four inches so you cut it out i have my band then after that if you fold it like i told you you're going to have um, two inches and half inch will go for the sewing allowance the next thing to do is to um, cut out um, an interfacing to stabilize the band so you cut it by half of the band so after that you're going to press it with your iron press press the gum side with your iron on it and the next thing to do is to cut your lining you fold your lining the same way you folded your fabric then um, after folding you place your fabric then when you place your fabric you are going to cut it out the same way but you do something you are going to after cutting it out the same way after cutting the same measurement out the way i'm doing you're going to go ahead and uh, bring the lining on top of the fabric to be able to shorten the lining in, in in order to turn it in order to have a neat finishing so i'll go ahead now and shorten the lining by one inch so i'll shorten the lining by one inch in order to have a neat finishing by the time i turn with the lining the 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 the, the emil eh, the hemline will be very neat and the lining will be inside it will not be flipping outside or on the right side of the fabric so trim out one inch to be able to create allowance for that then the next thing to do is to go on my machine and stitch by half inch on the hemline so i'll go on my machine right now and stitch by half inch on the hemline the place i'm talking right now is where i'm going to stitch so right away i'll be on my machine now to stitch by half inch so stitch by half inch like so so right now i'm almost through with the stitching of the m line so having done that Having done that, you're going to stitch the zipper allowance also. You're going to pull your, the essence of shorting the lining is done here. Pull your lining, lining down to the waistline so that there will be an allowance of a one inch here to turn it. So stitch it right away. Pull the lining down. Uh, by one inch that you shorten it and stitch it right away that's the zipper allowance that i have stitched so i've done it for the other zipper allowance too so you can turn it to the right side now so you can so, so that you will see what i'm talking about so the finishing of the skirt matters so that that you go ahead right now and iron it like so so you can see by the time you iron it it is very neat inside so that your dinner of your skirt will be as neat as the outside of your skirt so go ahead and press it and make sure you have a neat end so right away i'm going on a break right now when i'm back i'm going to seal up the waist circumference so i'm going to stitch the waist circumference when i come back do you desire to be a professional fashion designer in just few weeks then what are you waiting for enroll at yinki kuto academy today our online, offline and physical trainings are open in the following classes. Advanced class for 4 weeks, intermediary class 8 weeks and beginner class for 20 weeks. 
For inquiries, please call 0805 or 0903-218-4192. You can equally connect to us on our various social media platforms at Yinki Couture. Yinki Couture, home of dressmaking techniques. So you're welcome back. So I'll go away, right away now and stitch the circumference. I'm going to stitch the lining with the with the main fabric. So having done that, so we have the zipper allowance now. This is the zipper allowance that you are seeing. I'll go ahead and place my zipper and make place my zipper mark out where the zipper will get to before you get to the metallic part you mark it with your chalk then you are going to mark it on your fabric so that you will stitch from the M line to this point and now we have come to the end of the part one of this um, sewing tutorial so make sure you stay connected to watch the part two of this tutorial because it will comprises the finishing, the fixing of the zipper and then um, the fixing of the band and the finishing of the skirt. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like and also share this video. See you in my next video. Bye.